Uganda continues to score below average on implementing the policy on wetland conservation. Statistics show that Uganda's wetland coverage declined from 15.6% in 1994 to 8.9% in 2017. This decline has led to life-threatening weather patterns characterized by flash floods. Government is implementing a wise use program for communities around wetlands to sustainably use the wetlands. With population increase, uh, we have continually had this question. Will we eat conservation? Will it take our children to school? And that question. So we have had to intermarry conservation and livelihoods. Because you cannot conserve what you don't benefit from. There will be no incentive for that purpose. So we have cited what we call wise use models. Wise use models are demonstration sites that, that demonstrate that we can restore the wetland one, but we can also put their enterprises. Katanyeba Wetland in Nakaseke District is one of the sites that are benefiting from this program. We have started off with uh, f uh, fish ponds, where we have established groups, uh, which groups will, have, will benefit from this. But... It is not just in a group. People who have voluntarily left the wetland are the people who benefit first. And from them, others learn the values from that. We have established that when you grow rice, you do not get as much money as when you get fish. And a simple example is that when you grow rice, you may get 800,000 in your hands. But when you grow fish for eight months, the same period, you are able to get as much as 35 million, even when you calculate a fish at just 5,000 shillings. Lucy Iyango, the Assistant Commissioner for Wetlands Management at the Ministry of Water and Environment, was accompanying Dr. Musonda Mumba, the Secretary General of the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands, on a guided tour around Katanyewa Wetland in Nakaseke District. So this is the channel that leads to the reservoir. For the reservoir, we do not stop. Why? In her remarks, Dr. Musonda underscored the importance of recruiting more allies, especially communities around different wetlands spread countrywide. We need the information. We also need the knowledge systems, you know, the traditional knowledge systems. People also inform us in terms of what is it that we are losing. You know, we used to see this plant grow, we used to see these orchids, we used to see these birds, these changes, but this is not growing anymore. So this is the kind of information that we need to be able to make an informed decision for what is very good for wetlands. Dr. Msonda's visit is seen as an opportunity of twofold to the ministry and Uganda at large. We have had discussions and we have agreed on areas of policy nature where they can support us. We are also looking at uh, doing action-oriented research together with support from uh, the Western Convention and academic institutions in the country so that traditional knowledge that are beneficial from the wetlands are maintained. As per her mission, the Ramza Convention encourages the designation of sites containing representative rare or unique wetlands or wetlands that are important for conserving biological diversity. Dokas Kimono. UBC TV News.